Hi, this is Russ Buecher with Control Mind Icon. In this video, we're going to take a look how to create a script in Control Mind Icon. So to create a script, we first of all just need to connect your camera, and I'm connecting to a D7000, and I'll go over to the Scripts tab. And normally when we want to take a shot, we just make our settings here, click the Shoot button or AF and Shoot, and then it retrieves the image for us. However, you can create a series of commands in advance, and this series of commands is called a script. Then you can save the script, you can reuse it later, and it just allows you some additional flexibility with how you communicate with your camera. So for example, a very basic script would be this. Let's say I want to shoot, and that's going to shoot with no autofocus. Then pause, let's say for two seconds, that's in milliseconds, and then shoot again. All right. Now when I shoot, it is going to use the folders and file settings I have back here. When you want to start the script, you just click on Start. And the sh green shows that it's been successful. White means that it's in progress. And here it took my two images. Okay, let's try some variations. Now we can also do a loop. Let's say I wanted to capture three images. Now you could just put three shoot commands here, but there's another way we can do it. So I'm just going to remove this pause and remove the shoot and bring up repeat and tell it to repeat three times. Now two commands were added here, this one and this one. And these are paired. You repeat and then you go to the repeat. So we need to put the meat of the loop in between these two. So I'm going to move this down. Now when I start the script, it's going to take three shots. Let's give it a try. There's our three. Now you can include other commands in here. If you wanted that pause in here, you can do that as well. I'll just put the pause up in here and let's try again. So a use for this would be to do time-lapse photography, although we do have the intervalometer here, which has a bit more flexibility than this. And uh, you know, if you're bracketing for capturing images for an HDR, you can use the bracketing functionality as well. And uh, so it's really up to you how you prefer to use it. But you could save this for later use. I'm just gonna call this test one. And next time you load this profile, this script will also load. Now we can do some other things with these scripts and one of the unique things is that we can send information to an external program. So it could be that you are taking a series of shots, maybe you're doing a focus stack, except you have a focus stack rig where you have a focus rail that's controlled by a stepper motor and that stepper motor is connected maybe by USB to a program that you have written. So all you need control my icon to do is to tell the camera to capture an image and to command your program to move the stepper motor a bit so you can move the focus. So let's see how we do that. I'm just going to get rid of these. And I'm going to put in a loop. I will just leave it at two for now. I'll put in a shoot. And now I also add the command send UDP packet. And here we send some data. And let's say I wanted to do this. I wanted to send this string of data, move one, and you can put whatever you like in there, to this address and this port using the UDP network protocol. So in your program, you would basically set up a listener to receive this data. And whenever it received this, it knows that it should move the stepper motor and advance the focus rail. Now, when this information is sent, Control My Nikon will not wait for your program to do something. It's just going to send it and continue on. So if it takes several seconds for your program to respond and do something, you need to build in a delay here. So I'll move this up so it's inside our loops. We take our shot. We send the information to your program to move the focus rail. And then I'll tell it again to pause. And let's say, uh, we'll tell it to pause two seconds. And there we go. So let's give this a try. We'll start it. It sends the information to move the rail, pauses, 
and now it just repeats. And that's it. That's how you use scripts within Control Man Icon. Happy tethering.